Alright, so it is spring, the birds are singing, it is warm enough to be out here in a t-shirt and jeans, it's time to pull the bike back out. Um, needs a couple of changes though, because you'll notice the very first thing we are missing is the ECU. The motorcycle's brain is currently halfway to South Carolina, um, it's getting reflashed to work with the pipes, and yeah, so that'll be back here in a week or two. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and make the other changes we want to make. There is a bag that needs to go on on that side, and this bothers me, and I want a better one. So the plan is to uh, get all that done this weekend, next weekend-ish, before the ECU gets back. Um, if I have the cash and the time, we'll do the handlebars as well. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all I got for now. Let's go ahead and uh, get started. I'm going to start with the air cleaner. So while I may have two motorcycles and a car in here, I have lost use of half of the garage at the moment. So we'll do what we can. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is remove this because I don't want it here anymore. It is big and it is bulky and I have a better air cleaner that will work with the ECU that we're putting in the bike. So everything runs meaner and stronger and er, er because it needs to do that. We'll start by pulling this off. Mmm, smells like gasoline. Oh, I do have a can in here. That's nice. Alright, and we're just gonna keep going deeper until we get all this off. Okay, I want that bolt. <laughs> Obviously, that bolt. All right, so that right there is a 10 mil, right? Yeah, okay, so let's go into my found throughout the house because my wife likes to use my tools, 10 millimeter sockets. Don't tell me none of these are 10 mil. <laughs> oh my God, not a single one. Why is it 10 mils always disappear? Okay, 10 millimeters. really all I needed it for. And of course there's a hose and a hose pipe back here. I can feel it. You know what? I'm gonna do it with my fingers. Screw it. You come back. There. You're off. And you Slide out. Come on. There we go. Okay. This obviously goes right here. Okay. And then this. Goes on like that. Yeah? And look about right. There's a spare piece here. I don't know what that is yet. We'll figure it out. Something like that, I'm guessing. I have no idea. Is it even necessary? I don't know what that's for. <laughs> that bothers me. I feel like it's supposed to be a bracket of some sort. Like that. Can't be. I don't think this bracket attaches properly. All right, we're about to do something dumb here real quick. I'm gonna pull this whole thing off so I can get to the screws on the bottom. I think this was built for the Yamaha bolt. I don't know that there. Hmm. 
Alright, we're just gonna make that not exist anymore because I only really need that. Yeah, this piece here is whacking against this. And it pretty much just doesn't need to exist because it doesn't line up with anything the way it should. So we're just gonna go ahead and whack it off. Give me just a minute here. So now we're just going to clean that edge up real quick and hit it with some spray paint so it doesn't rust. There we are. No idea what the torque specs are on this, but that's okay. We're just not going to tell anybody that we went eh, hand tight. As long as I'm not cranking down, we should be fine on the gasket. There we go. Nice solid mount again. Everything looks hunky dory on that end. Cool. So now we can put this part on. Right? Yeah? Am I doing this correctly? You have no idea. It's all a guess. Look at that, now we have bottom bolt. Bonus. Here we go. Alright. Our next step is this little honky. Everything's good. I ain't going nowhere. We're fine. That'll work. Okay, next step. Next step, I believe, is the actual velocity stack. SAE. <laughs> SAE parts and oh my god. Why can't it just be metric? Uh. It is totally SAE. Son of a gun. You know what else I forget to do? We're just gonna go ahead and slap this boy on here. Boop -a -doo -ba -doo, something like that. Something like that, yeah, is that right? I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, okay. That's holes. That's holes, I have holes, we're good. Yep. Hey look, it doesn't ding this time. All right, now I need to find a red wrench that fits in these. So, just a sec, be right back. Teeny, meeny, miny, too big. Teeny, meeny, miny, I bet you this is too small. Teeny, meeny, miny, I bet you I don't have one that fits. This tool will work. Always have extras. Here we 
go. Now it magically covers up all the screw holes. And then there's a cute little filter. Just like that. Ow, it's stabbing. Ow, ow! Mesh netting, little pointy bits. More bolts! Ta-da! New filter on the bike. Um, wait. Ta-da! New air filter on the bike. Ah, oh, it looks so much nicer, doesn't it? Three days later. So I was just about to finalize the video here, and uh, two things. One, I got a phone call letting me know that the proper bracket's actually coming in, so that isn't the right bracket. I was correct. Ha! I win. And two, a package came in for me, so we're gonna go put the ECU in the bike real quick and see if I did this right. Pop off. Seat. Come on, I wanna do this quick. It's cold. Seat off. Just sit you down very carefully. This is why I use a tripod. There we go. Oh look, it's got my name on it. Yeah. Give me, give me. Ha. Ah. Check it out. Ivan's performance. So thanks to Ivan. Uh, should be awesome if you want your ECU reflashed. Yeah, she's that is one hell of an intake noise. It worked. That is one hell of an intake noise. But yeah, it's working. It's awesome. Actually smells a little rich. Um, this is probably because it's been sitting old gas. So it turns out that is pretty much all I got for today. So if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and leave me a like down below. And if you want to see my videos as they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button somewhere here. I, I don't know. will get that sorted in a sec. But that's all I got for now. It turns out I can put a bike together. And I'll see all you guys and gals on the flip side.